Dennis Simon joins us. He's a clinical professor of strategy and entrepreneurship at the University of North Carolina's Business School. Thank you so much for joining us from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Thank you. Well, what kind of atmosphere, what kind of market conditions are new graduates entering now that China has dropped its COVID restrictions and it's trying to get its economy back on track? Are the jobs there for them? Well, this is one of the most uh, difficult uh, job situations that uh, new graduates have encountered in a long while. And uh, it's linked basically to three things. One, the economic slowdown you know, uh, uh, tied to COVID. Second, uh, a general economic restructuring that's going on within China. And third, the acceleration of technological change and the incorporation of new technologies like AI and advanced computing, all changing the economic landscape and also redefining jobs and the workplace. And these uh, graduates are encountering uh, all of these new dynamics. And we could say that China is not the only country dealing with this, but we know that China has dealt with record high unemployment for young people in recent years with the government even trying to step in and help. Um, but right now, what kind of jobs would you say are the most in demand? I think those with technical skills. Um, one of the things that we've seen is a growth in the uh, number of vocational uh, education programs, uh, particularly those geared to new industries like semiconductors, uh, where the government now is trying to move people very quickly into the workplace and have now compressed the education uh, for technical specialists in some of these areas so that they can have a greater access into the job market. This is probably the highest priority area and why vocational education now is being given such a high uh, emphasis. There's been a little bit of discussion uh, about this, but would you say there is an issue of over education or a mismatch of degrees to the actual jobs available right now? Yeah, that's kind of the irony of the Chinese situation. You graduate 11 and a half million students, and yet at the same time, uh, people are talking about a shortage of talent. And there is exactly that, a, a mismatch uh, between the needs of the employers uh, and the skills that the recent graduates have. It's as, as if there's a lag in the skills uh, compared to where the industry is moving. And as I indicated, uh, the acceleration of technological change is just making this happen even faster. We have about a minute left, but what about the growth of vocational education in China? Where does that stand? Well, right now there are some 11,000 vocational schools, including uh, vocational high schools. And uh, China is trying to follow the German model in many respects, where the Germans have trained a whole cadre of skilled technical people to move into the workplace. And I think this is where China is headed, uh, not following the U.S. necessarily, but following uh, the European and particularly the situation in Germany. All right, Professor Dennis Simon, thank you so much for joining us from UNC Chapel Hill. We appreciate it. Thank you.